hi guys and welcome back to the channel so in today's tutorial we're learning how to make this beautiful cone sleeve that was attached to this dress so if you want to know how this was made stay tuned watch and learn so this is my pattern paper i'm going to go ahead and cut out a square of 12 by 12 inches as you all know this student ruler um, is about 12 inches so i'm going to be using it and i'm going i'm not going to be using my my tape my tailor's tape so i'm measuring 12 inches at all the edges that i need for this square and i'm going to cut it out if you want yours to be longer than this you can always make it but i feel like 12 inches is like the perfect measurement for this cone So this is my square of 12 inches by 12 inches. Now I'm going to go ahead and fold this into four places. You know how we do it. Like when you want to make your circle, you fold into two and fold into two again, which is into four. Yeah, just like you're making a circle. Now this is me flattening my pattern paper to be sure that my lines are visible and yes they are visible i have four squares now i'm going to go ahead and number my squares now i'll fold it back again and i'm going to mark out half um six inches all the way around this is to make um to turn this square into a circle I'm going to mark out six inches, which is half of half of the twelve inches that I used. I'm going to go ahead and mark out six inches all the way. As you can see, one part of the square has turned into a cone. I'm going to go ahead and cut it out. Now when you open it up, you're going to be having a full circle. Now what we want to do is to cut out one part of the cone. And I'm going to cut out number one. Now number one is out of the equation. We're going to go ahead and fold this into two. You can use um, this like this. So you can use it like this. But as for me, we're going to do more alterations to it. Now the part that has an opening, the part with a slit is your shoulder area. At that shoulder area, you're going to come in by one inch. And you're going to get your French curve and you're going to shape it into your circle as you desire. Just use any desired um, shape that you want. If you want it to go in, if you want it to come in a bit, fine. So when you shape it in, you're going to go ahead and cut off that SS. Now again, you can use this like this. But as for me, I'm going to reduce um, something from that pointy area that I just touched. So I'm going to go ahead and come in by, I don't want to use one inch, so I'm going to use 0 0.75. You can use one inch, one inch is okay. But I decided to use 0 0.75 and I'm going to connect it to the top like a dart. Now instead of cutting it out, I'll just go ahead and fold it in. So that we can continue with this tutorial but just know that when you measure out one inch that means that part is going out it is not part of the equation anymore now we're done with the tutorial and this is what it looks like this is what our pattern looks like yes our pattern is done this is what it looks like and this is what it looks like i'm going to go ahead and tell us how to join it and how to sew it and attach it to the bodies so to add this on fabric there is no serious work to be done um all you need to do is to cut this out you and um, since it's not much instead of placing it on fold you can just open it up this way open it up this way and cut it on fabric you cut the main um, fabric and you cut the lining 
Now, the next thing you're going to be adding is your interfacing. You remember, um, you don't want this to be um, lapping on. You don't want it to like relax. You don't want it to, to. You don't want it to fall. You want it to, you know, stand strong. So you need um, an interfacing that is strong. If you can go for, um, what is it called? If you can go for um, stiff neck, yes. If you can, if you can use stiff neck, fine. If you can use any other thick interfacing that is not hair stiff, fine. So go ahead and use the interfacing and sew it. When you're done, just um, um, when you cut it out this way, you iron your interfacing on on the um, main fabric, and then on the lining you can iron um, what's it called hair stay on the lining. Then you're going to place the both of them right side facing each other, and you're going to join um, these whole sides. Don't close this part. Just join the sides, and then you're going to turn it over from this top side. This side that has opening is your shoulder area. So you're going to turn it out from this top part. When you turn it out, you're going to go ahead and iron. Iron it properly. properly. If it's possible, when you're joining your lining and your main fabric together at this base area, you can use um, hemming gum so that when you iron it afterwards, it's going to relax. It's going to be very plain and smooth. You understand? So after you're done sewing, you pull it out from here, from the top, and then you go ahead and iron it. Everywhere is going to be concealed, leaving this part, the shoulder part, with rough edges. So now, when you're done, just go ahead and place these both parts together, you understand? And then you're going to sew it using half-inch allowance. When you sew it using half-inch allowance, that is it. That is finished. The inside, you can just um, use your interlocking machine to interlock it or your weaving machine to weave the inside part and turn it over and your cone sleeve is looking all perfect and smooth. Now for you to attach this to the body of um, the bodies is just quite simple. It's not something that your machine would do. It's something that you will use your hand needle to tack. Just go ahead, take this, place it here where you want it to be. And then you're just going to use your hand needle, your needle and thread and tack it invisible tacking make sure that the tacking is not touching the outer area let it just be on the inside so you're just going to go ahead and get your needle and thread and then you're now going to tack it strategically and that is basically it for how to make this cone sleeve i hope this tutorial was helpful if this is your first time coming across my tutorials do give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel thank you guys and stay tuned for more tutorial bye